Merry Christmas Eve guys! Oh, I'm so excited! It's Christmas Eve and oh, I'm just like endlessly hyped right now and I wanted to build this like cute little setup and eat some Christmas quote unquote because I can't actually eat like super Christmas cookies but I wanted to eat like a bunch of different cookies with you guys and a bunch of like just have a little Christmas cookie sit down and I wanted to be really cozy and I'm in my little cookie monster shirt because we're eating some cookies and I have like this nice cute little setup because you know I just feel like on Christmas when you eat some Christmas cookies it's gotta be cozy it's gotta be nice and yeah let me get into what I'm actually gonna be eating first I'm gonna be eating these dark chocolate rice cookie cakes they're really good though I had them one other time but it was a long time ago so first I'm gonna eat those and then we're gonna be eating some of these cute little chocolate things and then I have a whole ton of different flavors of these little cookies. Some almond milk, because you guys know me. And then this, which was so cool. I'm friends with the guy at the health food store, I think I said before. And he said this is the best flavor of this to get. And it's sugar cookie peanut butter. So we're going to try that out too. But, oh, so excited. So happy right now. I just can't wait. Let me open some stuff up. If I can. Okay, there we go. I probably should have brought like a plate or something, but I didn't bring one. That's okay. I'll build one or something. <laughs> I'll build a plate. Oh my gosh, the struggle is real. I don't know like how many cookies I'm going to eat or anything. I figure I'll just decide. I'll just eat as much Christmas things with you guys as I want until I don't want to eat them anymore. But yeah, I'm really excited about this. You know, I should really get a plate. Let me go grab one really quickly. Oh my gosh, look how good those look. Dying. Let me pour some milk. Cute little Christmas mug that I'm sure you guys are used to seeing. Open up these. So we're going to build a little towel table because... I didn't bring a plate, and I'm too lazy to go back out there. But, let me open these. Oh my gosh, so excited to eat these. I haven't eaten them in like, maybe a year. Ooh, look at that. So good. Oh my gosh, guys. I broke it. Oh no, that was horrible. Okay, this one doesn't want to come apart. We're just going to eat this whole stack because they don't want to come apart. So we've got these nice little bag cookies here. Let me make it so you guys can see. These cookies are really good too. If you haven't tried them, try them. Oh my gosh, and these. So good also. And there, now we kind of have a cookie set up. Let me put this over here. Let's get into this. I didn't open it yet or even look at it, so... I don't know. What the deal is with it, but it's peanut butter, so... Smells not like peanut butter, which is weird. Ooh, I'm trying so hard not to spill this everywhere. Okay. You struggle when you try to eat in, in the center of all of these cute things. It's so real. Okay, let me mix this up real quick. Because peanut butter separates, which is the most irritating thing ever, by the way. Because I eat peanut butter all the time. Even though I have a peanut allergy, and really shouldn't be, but whatever, that's fine. I just really like peanut butter. Alright, almost good here. I'm really excited to try this. It looks really good. It smells so much like a sugar cookie. It's insane. I didn't think it would actually, like, you know... Be so sugar cookie-esque. I don't really know where to put it. I want to put it over here. Hopefully you guys can see everything. 
Okay, but first I'm going to get into these ones. This is just the chocolate chip flavor. They're so cute. What is this one in the shape of? I can't figure it out. I'm going to eat that one because I don't know. This is a camel. It's just chocolate chip cookie. So good though. I have oatmeal and vanilla flavor also. Mm. They're so good. I haven't tried any other flavor but chocolate chip though. And I don't usually eat these because they have gluten in it. I try to like stay away from that usually. But it's Christmas Eve. I don't care. I want to eat some cookies. Oh, look, this one's like a wagon. I'm not sure I'm not sure one of these two. Mmm. These cookies are just definitely like a thicker, more like chocolate graham cracker flavor. So good though. Mm. Man, I love cookies. Mmm. Yep. Those are good. These are dark chocolate though, so they're definitely a little bit more heavy, even though they are on rice cakes, still really heavy. This is so good. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day and everything. I'm really curious if you guys have any, like, Christmas Eve traditions. You know, everyone's different. Like, some people open presents, some people don't. Some people have, like, Christmas Eve dinner and it's, like, all special. I don't think I'm doing anything this year, which is why... I wanted to make this video because I really wanted to sit down and eat some cookies and feel the Christmas vibes. Mm. Alright, let me mix it up a little bit. First try, let's see. My health food store guy has not failed me yet. Hmm. I can't decide yet. Hang on. <laughs> mm. It's definitely really, really sweet. It tastes super accurate. Like, it tastes exactly like a sugar cookie, but I don't know. Why is it too sweet for me? And I usually like sweet things. Like, sweet things are usually where it's at for me. But, I don't know. I gotta say, I have everything right now. I'm feeling these the most. Like, they're real good. Everything else is just a little bit more heavy, that's right, you know? But yeah, I'm really curious, like, what you guys are going to do for Christmas, or like, what kind of presents you guys want. Honestly, I mostly just buy all my presents for myself, because, I don't know, it's just easier, like, I know what I want, obviously. If I want anything, I mean, I'd be fine with getting nothing for Christmas. I guess not that important to me. 
but I managed to pre-order the um Alolan Raichu plush that's coming out in I think February so I'm really excited for that I mean I know like how's that a Christmas present is not even gonna be here but it totally counts to me and I'm really excited It is so cute. Oh. Man, you'd think I'd like get better at freaking not dropping my food everywhere. But nope. Oh my gosh, those are good. Mm. I was out so late last night. I need to be so Christmas ready that I'm totally going to just eat all this and go take a giant nap. Let me think, what do I intend on doing on Christmas? I don't really know yet. Probably just chill with my family. Honestly. Or maybe like take my dogs out somewhere because I really like taking them places on holidays. Like my dog's birthday was right around Thanksgiving, so. Well, not right around, but the day after. So I just decided to go on a big hike with him on Thanksgiving. Oh no. Because I have really active dogs and they love to go hiking and stuff like that. Uh, honestly, I like taking them anywhere where I can like let them off the leash and let them run around. Because I think it sucks that you gotta keep your dogs on the leash at all the time. I mean, I totally understand why, though, because if my dogs just ran around town off leashes, they would go and, you know, eat people and stuff, but <laughs> I just wish it was easier to, like, go places by ourselves where there was no other people around so that they could just go and it would just be them and me, but no. But, oh my gosh, I don't know if I talked about this. I don't think so. There was a most... Worst thing that happened on his birthday. Oh my gosh, guys. This is literally just me. Stealing food all over myself. I bought this. Yeah, I might have told a story. I totally don't remember. But we went hiking, right? I can't decide if I'm going to try a different flavor or not. Hmm, honestly, chocolate chip was so good. I guess we should, mmm, but chocolate chip was good. What does oatmeal cookies even taste like? We're gonna eat this chocolate chip bag. <laughs> because it just looks too good. It, well, it was too good, I mean, you know? Like, I don't wanna change up a good thing. Anyway, so, we went hiking. Having a great time, up in the mountains. Heading to this, like, waterfall. I 
Great time. Everything's going good. We make it to the waterfall. We're swimming. Whatever. And then all of a sudden the dogs just start. Because I have two dogs. In case you didn't know. And one of them's like. I don't want to say stupid. But he's definitely just. Like one of them could basically be a hunter. He's so instinctual. Sends his thing from like 50 miles away. It's insane. And well I mean not actually 50 miles. But you know what I mean. And he's just so great. And he likes to hunt things. Like he catches like birds and chickens and all kinds of stuff. And you know he could be a hunting dog. Like that's how good he is at it. And the other one. I like to compare him from like Odie from Garfield. Because he's just not all there, you know? He's a sweetheart. He's great, but he just doesn't have it going on. And so, all of a sudden, the one who's really alert, he just goes and, like, takes off. And we just don't know why. And so I call him back, call him back. He comes back. We get him, put him on leashes, because obviously something's up. Like, his ears are, like, twitching. Like, he's going, something's going on. And then he's pulling so hard on the leash, and I'm like, whoa, something's up. And literally... Right when I said, like, he was pulling so hard and all of a sudden, like, I just felt it. I was like, no, there's got to be dogs somewhere. And we're, like, halfway up into the freaking mountains. And then, right when I say there's got to be dogs, not even lying, like, six dogs come out of the freaking forest sides. Surround us. And they're all in hunting gear. Like, I don't know if you know what hunting dogs are, but, like... Are like but they have all this gear on to like protect their necks and their chests and stuff from getting eaten by other animals and so the whole pack is on us trying to eat my dogs and our my dogs are pulling and one of them is fixed and one of them isn't and the one that wasn't fixed was like losing his mind because you know he gets all territorial and like stuff like that and because they're hunting dogs on top of it all they're like really smart so they instantly circle behind us like the extra dogs. I so see I'm standing here like covered in a, in a legitimate circle of dogs. And I've got a stick. And I'm screaming at them, you know, because you got to be loud. And like, you know, mostly, most dogs will go away if you make like you're going to hit them. And so I'm screaming and yelling at them and everything. And then all of a sudden you just hear this massive gunshot from like two feet away from us. Um, out sprinting into the forest comes the guy whose dogs they were. With his giant gun, like, and he comes over and drags his whole dogs away from us. But then he was scared to come get his dogs because my dogs were gonna eat him. I made a big mess. And then, turns out he was up in the mountain looking for another dog that he had lost like two days before when he was hunting before. And it's just a weird area to hunt. Like, I don't really think. I've ever seen people hunting up there. But whatever. Figures the one time I go. And on Thanksgiving. Freaking weird. Anyway, so he takes his dogs and he's like, we're going to go down the mountain now. And I'm like, are you sure you're going down? And he's like, yeah. And we're like, okay, well, we're going to go up a little bit more. So that way, by the time we're heading down, like, you'll be down more and we won't re-collide with each other or whatever. And he's like, nah, it's fine. I'm going to chain him up. Like, you can just go. And then we're like, alright, we're gonna go down. And then he goes away, he takes his dogs, runs off, because they're all trying to attack us still. And then, there's this one other dog that comes out of nowhere that is one of his dogs. And you can hear him, like, mushing his dogs, you know? Hunter people, they shout their dogs with all those weird words, and, like, they follow them. So you can hear him, like, ways away, calling his dog or whatever. And the one, there's still one with us, and he's just not going away. Anyways, long story short. It's this really nice old dog, but it's definitely a hunting dog. And then we're trying to get him to follow us down the mountain because he's hiking way back up the mountain. Like, this dog's going to get lost because his owner's going down the mountain. Whatever, he won't follow us. We hike down the mountain. We run into the hunter guy. He had his dog chained up, though. And then we're like, hey, one of your dogs is walking up the mountain. He's like, what do you mean one of my dogs is walking up the mountain? We're like, yeah, this old one, blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, oh, no way. That's the dog that we've been looking for for the past, like, two days. And then, so then he had the dog, like, we had, we made the dog come to us, and then we lost it, and then he went hiking back up the mountain after that, because he had to go find him now. And I was just like, oh my gosh. And 
then after that I was done. I was like, nope, I'm not staying up in these mountains with these dogs. So we just hiked down. And called it a day. So crazy though. Man, like these other cookies are good, but these ones right here. They're the MVP of this video because they're so good. I'm just pour them all up into my milk here. But yeah, getting back to Christmas. Because man, I was struggling there. We were all the way back at Thanksgiving. Oh no, I dropped it. Like, I've got so much going on. Finally got all my shopping done. I was cutting it pretty close though. Because one of my sisters is lame and she just doesn't want anything like fun to buy. And the other one is so picky, it's insane. She literally sent me the most detailed list with pictures of the exact everything and everything. And then I was like, so basically I just have to go out and buy this for you. And she was like, yeah. And I was like, all right, fine, I'm gonna do it, whatever. Because she's normally off at school, so she doesn't come home that often. So when she comes home, I feel like obligated to get her a bunch of stuff. But now that I'm thinking about Christmas, I honestly might just play video games all day. <laughs> because I really don't play as often as I should. It's just such a hard time finding time, you know? a bunch of cookies they're just stuck down here ah but yeah this is a great video such a great time i'm so glad i got to sit here and eat cookies with you guys on christmas eve oh so hype so happy anyways so i'm gonna go take a nap now and prep for christmas slash maybe play some video games today i don't know i'm gonna try to have a chill day and if i play video games on christmas maybe i'll like live me it on that there's this live me app that I go on. I might live me it, so if you're watching this, I believe I'm going to have this up today. Then maybe catch me on there. Don't know yet. Not for sure. 
But yeah, links to all that is probably in the description. Leave a like if you liked this Christmas themed video and had a fun time hanging out with me and eating cookies because I had a fun time. But yeah, so Merry Christmas Eve guys. Hope you have a good day and hope you have a good Christmas. Make sure to comment down below anything that you want for Christmas. I like knowing other things that people want because I just think it's fun. And make sure to subscribe if you want to hang out with me again on a normal video where we're just chilling and not, you know, seasonally chilling. So yeah. <laughs>